what's kicking chicken? It's 6.47 a.m. Oh, time change. It's 7.47 a.m. I'm on my way to Walgreens and Publix because I really need a banana. Squishmallows are actually being released at Walgreens at Wednesday, 8 a.m. So I'm gonna drive there, hopefully get my hands on one. I just want Ronnie. It's also St. Patrick's Day, so I'm gonna be vlogging my day. Um, it's my cousin's birthday. Shout out to you, Olivia. I said they opened at eight, but it's seven and I see people going in. Well, that was a bust. Okay, so I got in there and they told me they should be up by eight, nine. And then another worker's like, oh yeah, we're not putting them out till tomorrow. I really just want freaking Ronnie. There's a zero at my store. There's been zero for four weeks. Like we don't have any and it's so frustrating. Oh, now I'm gonna go get gas. The bald eagle is in the nest. I love Walmart at 7 a.m. It's like, I lied. Who loves Walmart in general? Walmart doesn't compare and it's unfortunate. Sometimes they have good stuff. Oh yeah, that's nice. Gas is like pretty expensive right now. Usually to fill up my car, it takes about $20. But recently it's been 30, 35. But yeah, it just kind of kind of hurts my wallet and my bank account a little more. I'll live, okay? I will definitely live. After gas, I didn't get the banana from Publix like I said I would. I think for breakfast, I just had an omelet and some granola. Instead, I just went to yoga and then I did some legs. I did kicky backs and then this thing. I was gonna do more, but I have a knee injury currently and I didn't really wanna do like too much. I'm actually heading to the mall. I finished up at the mall and then Ulta and Five Below, there was no Squishmallows. I got what I needed at Ulta, I'll show that a little bit later. Once I get home safely, then I'll do a little haul. I went to two stores and at Bath & Body Works, I spent a total of $8.06 on this soap. I just needed soap, I ran out of my soap from Christmas. The next store you already saw was Ulta and I spent $24.49 and I got two things. On my way to Ulta, I was just on the phone with my mom. I was like, yeah, I'm about to head into Ulta. And then I look up and I saw a Hawaii license plate. I'm gonna put a picture right here. It was so crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen one of those. Back to Ulta. Hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary and Morphe 2 Softy Gel Moisturizer. That'll be it. I might do a skincare routine tonight. I'm super excited. I am back from work. After the mall, I did end up going to work. Um, I had a few shifts left. If you had seen my previous video, maybe two videos ago, I uh, put in my two weeks. But now I'm back and I'm going to be doing a skincare routine because I said I would with my new products. Um, so I have combination skin. So I have both the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser Dry to Normal and then I have Normal to Oily as well for the summer. And I use this mostly in the winter, but I already facial cleansed in the shower. Next, I'm just gonna be doing my treatment and I use Mary Kay Clear Proof. And all I know is less is more because this stuff works like a charm. I don't know, I don't have much skincare advice because I've always had like naturally okay skin, but I will swear by this. It really does help with breakouts, especially if you have a lot of cystic acne and it's pretty inexpensive too. That's why I love Mary Kay and CeraVe and The Ordinary, which I will be using next. So you saw me buy this from the mall. It's The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2%. I don't touch the nozzle thing to my face just because I think like you got too much dip on your chip if you know what I'm saying. Then after that, I'm gonna be trying out the Morphe 2 Softy Gel Moisturizer. I'm excited for this one because it says it has cooling agents and I have rosacea. I'm supposed to use rosacea cream, but I hate how oily it makes my skin. I know it's good for me, but I don't really care about rosacea anymore. It used to make me super like self-conscious because people were like, oh my God, your skin's so red. Why are you blushing? No, just my rosacea. But this one says it has cooling agents in like aloe and cactus. And that's really good for people who have rosacea because their skin flares up a lot. It really does feel cool. I have to limit a lot of the things I use. Like the sunscreen I use is pretty, like it burns a lot. But I need sunscreen so I have to wear it. I can't make any final decisions yet. But I like how it makes my face feel. And it doesn't burn that bad. I mean, it feels pretty cool. And it's like nice to smell. It has a good smell. So maybe I'll do like an updated skincare routine a little bit later. And yeah, oh, I also use ChapStick. My usual ChapStick is just the ChapStick brand 
peppermint flavor and I have about seven tubes of that. I love that stuff so much. Um, what I'm using now, I'm trying it. Dionis, made from goat milk. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is probably gonna be a pretty long video, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye!